Hey viewers, Nate Story with Bright Ogre Tech here and today we're going to talk about leggy seedlings. Are they a problem and what you can do to reduce legginess in your seedlings? So a lot of folks have asked us about leggy seedlings. They say, hey Nate, we've got these uh, problems with our plants. They're really long. If they're lettuce uh, seedlings, they're really spindly. The longs are, uh, leaves are long and narrow and they're just kind of frustrating to deal with. They're hard to transplant. They don't necessarily grow great. What's the problem? So there are typically four things that lead to legginess. The biggest things are too little light. If you're growing indoors, the other thing could be the wrong kind of light. Uh, the other issue could be too much ammon ammoniacal nitrogen, so too much ammonia as opposed to nitrate in your fertilizer mix. And um, the last one is just competition and shading, okay? So let's talk about each one of these in detail. So the first one is too little light. When there's not enough light, the plants will stretch, okay? So when we talk about legginess, we're just talking about really long stems um, or long internode length. So that's the, that's the distance between the leaves, okay? And it's really frustrating to deal with plants like this because uh, once they start getting enough light, all of the growth is out here and you've got this long stem that is kind of in the way. It breaks very easy. It's very hard to handle and transplant. It causes a lot of problems. Most of the time it's because it didn't get enough light early on. So as soon as that seed cracks and you have kind of these embryonic leaves uh, coming out, you know, you've got your cotyledon, these things just start to emerge um, from, the, from the seed, okay? Uh, that coat snaps open. Uh, you wanna start hitting it with light, okay? So you can put stuff in your propagation chamber, you can keep it moist, but as soon as that seed crack happens, you wanna get it under light. And what that does is it tells the plant, hey, this is good enough, you don't need to kind of keep pushing up to find the light. If you're not giving it light, the seed thinks, I need to keep on pushing, I, I can't find the light here, I'm in the shade, I need to grow a nice long stem so I can reach the light, right? Oftentimes these are deep under the soil surface and so they've got to push their way to the top in order to get that light. So when you're not giving them enough light, you're telling the seedling, hey, get really long and leggy, grow this nice long stem, we've got to find more light. And so that's often why you see this uh, in seedlings that don't get enough light right off the bat as soon as the seed cracks. So once the seed cracks and you've kind of got those initial leaves, get it under light. That is really going to reduce the legginess. You're going to have much shorter, stockier plants that are much, much easier to handle. So the second issue is the wrong kind of light. And what I mean by that is if you're growing under LED lights, you usually have a red-blue ratio. Or even under other lights, you know, you have different lights that kind of have different amounts of red to blue light. Well, red light is really... Uh, kind of the most efficient light for growth at seedling stage. However, blue light really kind of compacts the plant. So when you end up with lots of legginess um, under artificial light, sometimes it means you've got too much red and not enough blue. Uh, one way to combat that is, one, to make sure you've got enough light present, but if you do, um, to add more blue light to the mix, and that is going to shorten up the plants, shorten the internodes, make the leaves fleshier, bigger, broader, and keep the plant just much, much more compact and easy to handle. So make sure you're looking at your red-blue ratio and making sure that that's well balanced for your seedlings. Otherwise, you end up with really leggy, long, straggly seedlings. The next thing is ammoniacal nitrogen. So this is something that a lot of folks don't really talk about. We're gonna talk about it today. Different fertilizer mixes have different amounts of ammoniacal nitrogen to nitrate nitrogen. Nitrate nitrogen is used pretty much directly by the plant. It contributes to relatively shorter, more compact growth. Whereas ammoniacal nitrogen is tied to legginess. So um, I'm, I'm not sure of the exact mechanism. It's a biochemical thing. When you give plants ammoniacal nitrogen, they tend to stretch a little bit more than if they just uh, had nitrite nitrogen. So if you're using something like, uh, you know, an off-the-shelf fertilizer like miracle Grow, something like that, check the label, make sure it's the kind of nitrogen you want. And if you're getting a lot of legginess still, it's worth uh, looking at more nitrate nitrogen, or, or basically fertilizers with more nitrate nitrogen as opposed to ammoniacal nitrogen. So the last thing is just competition, right? So it's a competition between the plugs. So when you've got a lot of plugs together like this, and they're right on top of each other. They're fine at this stage, but if you're growing them out a little bit longer, if you're forcing your seedlings to stay in your plug trays a little longer because you're trying to conserve your real estate and shorten your time and grow out, 
um, you may have to look at larger plug sizes. And the reason for that is as these grow, they come into competition with each other, right? So they start to shade each other out. This forces the plants to get leggy and long in order to kind of outcompete their neighbors for the limited light that's available to them. So if you're seeing a competition-based legginess or stretching, think about going to a slightly larger plug size to uh, reduce the competition and to allow the plants to stay shorter and a little bit more compact. If you're just generally trying to fix legginess, the, the chief culprit is too little light and too much competition, which are kind of the same thing. So just generally, if you don't really feel like in, uh, getting into too much detail, just bumping up the amount of light that's available to your plants is going to help. You know, for seedlings that are very, very leggy, they're still typically usable. If you catch them early on, um, then oftentimes you can still use the plants. However, if they're extremely leggy, sometimes they're not worth transplanting. And that's typically when you're gonna transplant them and you're gonna have this long curved stalk with all of the growth on the end of it. And the reason for that is like in vertical or zip grow towers, you're gonna end up with more issues with dripping and, and controlling moisture. In um, NFT systems or other systems like that, you're gonna have stem curling, coiling, twisting, and heads that don't always orient very nicely. And uh, this is not necessarily an issue from a production standpoint, but from a sales standpoint, it can be a real issue. Customers like heads that are, that, that are nice and clean and compact. And so that's gonna have to be up to your judgment, you know, as to whether or not you can actually use the seedlings if they get a little bit too far down the legginess uh, path. So look at it really carefully, think about what your customers want to see and it may uh, cause you to throw away a lot of seedlings once they become too leggy. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate the views. If you guys have questions, leave those below. Check out able.egg. It's our software that helps you plan out your growing. It helps with issues like legginess when it comes to uh, really scheduling out your transplanting, really scheduling out how your farm should be working. Usually when you're dealing with legginess, it's an issue with uh, just kind of the human management side of things. So check that out. Uh, please subscribe, and as always, thanks so much for viewing.